But what a comeback that was, wasn't it? It's crazy. So I've already won 2 1 at home against Bolton, who were second pace at that time. They were top of the league, actually, at one point when they actually scored. But yeah, my, 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 what a game. Start us off, um, yeah, we looked all right. We looked decent in the first half, um, up until um, the point where, you know, we protested, throw some tennis balls on the field. I kind of didn't expect that. There was no kind of warning from my perspective. I, I tried to look at things. I thought there would be a protest after the game or prior or during. Uh, since uh, earlier in the week, um, we got some free points deducted again, uh, which is lovely. And we're probably going to get that each month. This damn owner fucking fails to pay anything, so... Yeah, we love that, don't we? Yeah, obviously, um, the tennis balls thrown on the pitch does suspend the game for a little bit. So uh, after a while, the players go back on the field and uh, we can see, don't we? What's great about that is um, I'm all up for protesting against the owner. Um, but the timing of our chance, actually, they could be worked on. It was only just one time, though, during the game. But yeah, as soon as we can see it, everyone's going, oh, die on out and stuff. And it's just like, <sighs> die on isn't the reason why we can see it this day. You know what I mean? It was the players. Uh, we need to get behind them. We need to, like, you know, support the team because... Once you're conceded and you'd, you hear your own fans singing like dying out like negative things, you are not going to feel up to play it, are you? And that's a whole game left to play. I mean, they scored what, the 20th minute? We have a whole 45 minutes and plus more to play after the game. We need to stay a bit more positive and get behind the team. But yeah, that was only the one time where it was just quite negative, a bit toxic. But yeah, no, we got behind them. Uh, yeah, we we played very well. I mean, even even the fact that we did concede, we played very well. We kept going at it. We tried our hardest. Um, almost scored a few times. Aziz hit the crossbar. What's this guy got to do to score this season? He needs something to sort of kickstart his form. Um, but yeah, no, definitely up to it today. Jesus Christ. I feel for him, though. I feel for him. And then come to the start of the second half. And yeah, Reading just... I don't know what happened. I don't know what changed for us. But we were just not in the game for a good 15 minutes. It just flew us by. And yeah, oh, I'm glad Ruben says picked up on us and actually made a change because the changes he did make, wow, outstanding. They completely changed the game. We scored and we scored again. Um, Savage, great ball. You know, got it, got it into the sit of his feet and then just hit, hit it with a strike in the back and there it goes. Gave it nervy or close to near the end of the game. And um, obviously we bring on Fickers. I think that was a great decision. Um, bringing on for Kelvin E was a bit of a was a bit of a head scratcher for me because I thought you know if MEZ is the one who's struggling to score, surely you would take him off. But I guess if he's close to scoring, you keep him on. And yeah, he did well for us anyway. He did he did all right. The Fickers yet managed to tap it in for us when the ball gets across just in front of the goalkeeper. And yeah, and obviously we're two one up from that point. And you could be more happier if I'm honest. You know, you're a bit nervous during the game. I was thinking, oh god, are we actually going to be all right? I mean, I predicted probably that we were going to lose. We were going to get smacked by Bolton because you know obviously being second in the league and we were in the relegation zone. You just think Bolton are just going to smack us you know but that wasn't to be and we actually won the game and yeah we're still in the relegation zone which still kind of it, it sucks man it really does suck being in the relegation zone especially when it's not really your fault but no yeah we moved from it i'm playing a match i'm playing a match it's gonna be ben elliott i thought when he came on absolutely outstanding did nothing wrong made sure he got the ball for someone so young too and you know he's not the biggest player in terms of, like muscle mass and everything so to hold off players he did that so well for his like height and weight. It was so impressive. He kept that up for the whole game. So yeah, props to him. You know, he did absolutely insane. And I think if I am remembering right, he did help set up the second goal. So yeah, it's great. I'm very happy that Ribas there is actually making good decisions on substitutes. It's been ages we had a manager who actually thought, you know, about the game, seeing the game as it is, and going, hmm, what can I change here? Ah, oh, okay, I'll bring on these players to then solve that issue. Paul Ince and previous like Panovic and oh god, you can go back for a long time before you actually see a manager who's actually gone. Oh, actually. I have players who can come on and change this, you know, and actually make a substitute or, you know, just like, oh, I'm only going to wait to the 60th minute to do so. You know, you need to act. We need to act. And Ruby says does that. And I'm so grateful that he's manager who does it. Uh, that definitely means he's getting more back in from the supporters. And yeah, I think we adore the way he wants to play. And um, yeah, it's just the players have got to do it, really. But yeah, a great match. I was really good for us. We were quiet a lot of times. And it's just more because, you know, just the mood of the place is, is going to be a bit down. And we've got minus three points going into this game. Uh, and also, of course, we're going against Bolton, who was second in the league at the time. So it's just, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit of a headache to want to go to the stadium. But we did it right. It was at 13,000 in total. That's including away fans. Uh, but still, that's like the average for us at the moment. So yeah, we did it right. I will say I'm a bit more optimistic for kind of this game, uh, apart from the um, Papa John's trophy thing, is against Blackpool. So I'm looking a bit more positive ahead of that. I would, did think that we would be uh, with it, but I think Blackpool lost today as well. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a bit more optimistic and I think, you know, we could possibly get a win there too. And with that being said, that was my reaction. I hope you guys see you next time. Bye.